Yo, what's up, y'all? Like I said, I'm on this journey to the White House. First and foremost, like, we got to make a couple of pit stops for Queens. You know what I'm saying? Queens. I'm trying to set it up where we have an NBA basketball team, a professional baseball team that we have, you know, the Mets and everything. But I want their name incorporated into some type of team name for a Queens team, period. Brooklyn got Brooklyn Nets. So now we need to have a specific team for Queens, whether baseball, basketball, football. I'm trying to get all that incorporated. Once I get in that position of power as far as office is concerned, you know. Uh, another thing I'm going to change, I'm going to change the speed limit. It's going to go back to 30, 35. The highway limit, you know, the minimum is going to be 60, 65, you know, so you guys won't get keep getting banged in the pocket with all these tickets and everything. But for people that's on big on the 20, 25, that's going to be over with. You know, because, you know, the city makes a lot of money off you guys speeding. But anyone that's caught speeding in that aspect that hits a little child, I'm letting you know now. There will not be no mercy. You're going to have a minimum life sentence. You hit a you hit and run a child in the school district area, minimum life sentence. You know, possibility of parole, of course. But if the child dies, life without parole. I'm serious. I'm pushing that hard because there's no excuse. You running down a school block and you hit a child. I don't care if you're drunk. No excuse. Period. You know, so I'm pushing it back to the old standard as far as 30, 35. I'm pushing the highway limit from 50 to 60, 65. As far as homelessness, we're going to get these homeless people off the street. You know, we're going to push for um, the caseworkers, the therapists, and stuff like that to make a minimum of 500000 a year based on the type of work they're going to be, you know, they're going to have the type of, you know, duty and task they're going to have to perform to get these people off of the street. You know, so that's 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 my definitely goal. You know, outside of my personal stuff, I'm gonna. I got books, movies, like I was sharing with y'all earlier. I got movie theaters I want to put up and everything. But other than that, as far as I'm, oh, cause I get in the office too. Uh, reparations, definitely for black people. I know. Shout out to um, Johnny Cochran. I met him when I used to work at FedEx. But one of the things with him, he died trying to get reparations for black people. I'm gonna push that agenda. Must definitely get the reparations. You know, the Jews got it, the Asians got it, the Indians got it. We never got ours. Once again, I know what Dr. Umar says about it. But listen, I I let you make your own choice, but I'm I'm gonna push that agenda as far as us getting reparations. You know, there's enough land in Texas that's not occupied. More than enough. More than enough. You know, um, money's being printed. If we could send money to Ukraine. You could definitely <laughs> black people can definitely get their just due, which was owed to them. I'm going to push that. Black people support me. Trust me. You want your just due? You want, you know, because I'm going to be honest, most of y'all are going to get the money and spend it anyway, going to Louis and all that. That's your business. Whatever you do it is your business and everything. But you're going to get it and no more blaming. Yo, we never got this, never got that. I'm going to make sure you get it. Once you get it, it's up to you what you do with it. And I'm going to be pushing back trades in school too. You know, um, college is good, but you, you need to have something that you can always make money, whether electrician, plumbing, uh, mechanics, you know trade customer service classes are going to be in school as well um i forgot what was the other one as far as uh oh culinary culinary cooking definitely you're going to push that back you know um the weights and stuff are going to get put back in the jails you know i'm i want to eliminate that you know as far as when people are in jail they're obligated to come home and they have to stay in the shelter no you know, if you're in jail, you did your time, you go home to your family and everything like that. You know, if you're a sex offender, whatever, you're not going to be discriminated against. You know, you're going to be able to get a job, you know, um, in that aspect. You know, um, just the people that need to know will know. You're not going to be highlighted in that regard. Uh, the HIPAA law will be back into effect. I know the whole situation with COVID seemed like the HIPAA law was thrown out the door. You have people that's not doctors or nurses asking you medical questions. That's against the law. That will be fully back into effect once I get into the office. You know, anybody that violate that law, you will be sued and everything. Or you you have the right to be sued in that regard. So once again, click subscribe, share your friends. This is this is uh, your brother, Rala Dalu McNair or Marshall or Rala Marshall Dalu McNair. Going for a political admiration as far as office is concerned. You know, the liberation of the black man and woman. No more African-American. That will not be a title anymore. You know, Europeans, they don't call themselves European-Americans. We're not going to be called African-American. You was born in America. 
You're gonna be called an American, that's it. Ain't no more black American, all that. You don't call the Asian man, you don't call him Asian. You don't call him Asian American. You don't see that on the application. Also, once again, for the LGBTQ community, you're gonna have your, I'm gonna set up where you have your own bathroom. So there's no more issues as far as using the bathroom for quote unquote straight people. You're gonna have your own specific bathroom that you can go into. That eliminates any other problem moving forward. And if you identify, if you are in that field and you identify yourself as a, a, a woman, and you still have men genitalia in that aspect, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna set up the money to have you, you know, if you really believe you're a woman in that aspect, I'm gonna set it up for you to have your genitalia removed, but they can be done, the procedure, then you can go in a woman's bathroom if you, you truly identify as a woman. Same thing as far as uh, a man, you know, genitalia removed. If not, you will just, uh, you will be able to go into the transgender, transsexual bathroom, in which they won't eliminate no problems. I would not have unisexual, you know, Unisex bathroom means it's very dangerous. Me coming from the field of security is very dangerous. Forget this uh, for the homosexual community. This for the heterosexual community is very dangerous. You got a lot of quote unquote people that's perverted that will try to rape. I remember one time I did a uh, venue and I had to stay, literally stay in the bathroom to prevent guys that were drinking alcohol, make sure they wasn't trying to, you know, harass and try to sit up there and rape the women. You know, alcohol puts you in a different frame of mind. So, yeah. No more uni, uh, unisexual bathroom. I think I said that right. So other than that, click subscribe. Uh, I got more other stuff coming on, but I'm just letting y'all know where I'm going with it. All right. Peace and grace. Peace, peace and grace and blessings be upon each and every one of you in Jesus' name.